What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So we've got a lot to do today. Just jumping right into it. Today's video is going to be going through or showing you guys all of my fall and Halloween decorations. I do have quite a bit of decorations that I've collected over the last 10 years of my life. So I figured it might be fun to show you guys and all my spooky girls out there too that are into this kind of thing, everything that I've collected. So if that sounds like something you're into, I'm going to go get all those bins. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I literally just had to take like a five minute break because carrying all these gigantic bins up here by myself, I'm so out of breath now. Some of these bins are huge, so it doesn't look like it. I was looking back at the footage just for, um, to make sure everything was in frame. And these bins look tiny. These bins are massive. They're bigger than my body. These ones are super wide, so they're heavy, but Hopefully the lighting's okay. It's kind of like a super weird lighting day. Like the sun keeps coming in and out from behind the clouds. So I have to have my recess lighting on. I know it's a bit warm tone, but hopefully it looks okay for you guys. So like I said, I'm not gonna show every single thing I have here cause that would take forever, but I am going to touch on all of my favorite pieces. Also, this isn't all of my Halloween decorations. So every single year I do buy quite a bit of stuff. Like I said, it's my favorite time of year. It's just what makes me happy. So with the exception of a few things that are already around the house, like for example, if you've seen the video of me making that garland up on top of my fireplace, I've got things like that. So I don't know if you guys saw my spirit Halloween haul, but in that I actually received a broken snow globe this is the replacement, which I do quite like. I got it specifically for this quote because I have a candle that matches it and Salem is inside of there behind a gravestone. It's very cute, but I will say this music is insanely loud. So the only way to get these black sparkly things to move around within the snow globe is to turn it on and you, there's no option to turn it on without the sound. That is so loud. Why is it that loud? So that's unfortunate. That is way too loud. I'm gonna have to try to cover that speaker with something, but still super cute. This is another snow globe from TJ Maxx. It's got a little mummy hand and again, a little grave scene on the inside. Then I picked this up again at CVS, another one of those random cute CVS finds. So three little ghosties with the little boo sign. Okay, now, we can start getting into some of these bins. Now, I don't know what is inside of every single one of these bins because I only have them marked as Halloween and the rest is a mystery. So all this is, is random Halloween picks. So if you don't know what picks are, basically picks are little floral design pieces, I guess. So you can get these at Michael's or Joann's and they're little, stick decorations that you would normally put inside of a floral arrangement or something. So I've got a whole bunch of picks and these ones in particular were just too delicate or too big to put inside of a box. So I have them sitting inside this bin nice and protected. So this again is Halloween picks, a whole bunch of Halloween or fall themed myself in the face. Floral arrangement pieces. Here, this is kind of hard to explain, I guess. So what this is, is kind of like a branch or twig wall. So there are four different pieces and basically what it is, is a wall covering. So it will kind of look like vines or branches are growing up the wall in their pre-lit purple trees. So I would take this and kind of 
sit them outside on my deck so it looks like cool dark creepy branches are growing up the side of my deck these look really cool i have no idea when i got this i've had these for years blankets and pillows so cute little orange and black trick-or-treat pillow so this is a couple yards of fabric but is this beautiful black velvet fabric with silver sparkly spider web detailing how pretty is that so what i've done in past years is ended up just using this as a tablecloth or something like that so it's a couple yards of fabric and i just haven't made anything out of it yet and the rest of this stuff is all blankets so halloween blankets this one has just a bunch of halloween quotes on it another halloween blanket so this one is all black and it's got these cute little orange jack-o-lanterns all over it a plain orange one and another plain orange one but this one has cute little ball tassels at the bottom of it and all the tassels are hung on with these cute little white pearl details i like to have plain ones too then we got another pillow so this is just a white canvas fabric pillow and it says Halloween and a skull on it. Oh boy. Okay, so it's looking like more Halloween picks right here. So these are just some cute little witch hats. These ones are wired with little sequins on them. I got a green one, a purple one, and an orange one. These ones are cute little hanging sequin bats in orange, green, and purple. Then from TJ Maxx years ago, I've got this, I guess this would kind of be called a charger plate, but it's a ceramic skull and it's kind of in that like sugar skull design. Then I've got some Halloween signs, pumpkin heads, it says deadly dinner, tonight's special, crossbones, beware who enter, witch's way, deadly desserts, cauldron cakes. These are all cute little wooden signs. Now we've got a canvas, so batteries are dead. But inside this canvas, there are lights. So the jack-o'-lantern's eyes will light up, the moon will light up, and it also plays music. I do believe this came from AC Moore back when AC Moore was still open. It is so sad that I don't have there to go to this year and get some cool Halloween stuff. And we've got some more signs. So this one is a little psychic sign, another little wooden psychic sign, a cute little wooden beware sign, super sparkly, that is so pretty. Again, with that palmistry theme, then we've got a Halloween sign. This is a little wooden witch silhouette. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Then I've got another one of those orange Happy Halloweens because I can't help but buy things in doubles for some reason. So I can't have just one, I would like two. That way I can have one for the front door and the back door or for the left side of the room and the right side of the room. I don't know why I'm like that. Some pretty Halloween candles. So this one is a white base with a black sparkly web. This one is a white base with a matte black web. How pretty are those? I don't think I'm ever going to be able to burn those. Those are so pretty. But I have so many candelabras and stuff like that. So I like to be able to have seasonal candles to switch them out with. Then again, I got a set of two because I have to get a set of two, but these are cute little apothecary jars. So they are that silver mercury glass, I think is what it's called. And they have a black spider on the front. Aren't those pretty? And with a tea light, mercury glass looks so, so pretty. It almost flickers on its own. I think this was my freshman year of high school. So I made this my freshman year of high school. It is this four-sided little clay lantern. So the front is a jack-o'-lantern, then I did a little ghost scene. <gasps> this is so bad. Spider and a little bat and a moon. I made this back in my freshman year of high school. So this was before I even figured out that I had any interest in crafting and art and all that stuff. So this is rough, but I'm so glad I still have this. I want to say these are also from AC Moore or maybe from Walmart or something. I'm not sure, but cute little three ceramic pumpkins again on that mercury glass theme. So I've got two, I guess, silver gourds and they light up, but I don't think there's, oh, yep, there is batteries inside of them. How pretty are those? But they both are the same thing and obviously light up. I do believe these are also from AC Moore. 
So there's no batteries, but those green eyes light up. And it's a very light glow too, so it's creepy looking in the corner. But this little ceramic black cat from AC Moore. Then another cute little spooky tree. This one does light up. I don't even think I'd gotten to use this yet because I got it before I moved. So a cute little black sparkly light up tree with cute little orange lights. So cute, I love spooky trees like this. Then we just have a plain little coffin bin. I don't know what you'd call this. It's like a little, I don't know, trinket collector container. And this was from Michael's. Let's get into this bin because this bin is gonna be fun. Got one of my all time favorite pumpkins. Why? Because it's iridescent. So it's a white pumpkin and it's a light up pumpkin. Of course, batteries are dead but it is this beautiful opalescent white textured glass. Next thing up is just a plain orange pumpkin cookie jar or any type of jar you want it to be. This is from AC Moore. Another cookie jar, but this one is way cooler. So this super glossy black skull. How pretty is that? And again, it's a cookie jar. So pretty. This one is from TJ Maxx. Then we've got these. So these are really cool. So these are wooden lanterns, I guess, because on the back they have these holes. And in those holes, you can obviously put in one of those lights to plug in. So just like you would, I don't know, the bottom of like a selenite lamp or something, you can put lights in here and these light up too. And they're real wood. That's why I like these. These are definitely from AC Moore. Love these guys. All right, so everything else that was in that bin is all lights. So I've got tons of different kinds of lights, but they're all obviously Halloween lights. So I've got tons of strings of these purple ones. Then I've got these cool flame looking ones all in Halloween colors. So orange, purple, and green. I've also got these really cool ones too. These are big plastic purple bats that light up. I really like these ones. All right, next bin is definitely more random things like lights, some Halloween garland, a bunch of these Halloween signs. And I have a couple different kinds of them. So there's the pumpkin one like this and then the silver spooky one like this. And I've got a couple of each of those. More lights. So these cute little orange jack-o'-lantern lights. Cute little ghost lights so these are that same type of plastic light but these ones have little black hats on them and they're little ghosties random little fall broom so this is another one of those wooden signs this one was just made a little differently so i think this one came a couple years after and all of these wooden signs are from ac more more lights so these ones are little bone lights i would put these outside in the garden or something and have like a little mulch or something going over the wires so it looks like just light up bones. A couple more sets of those slime lights. So again, those orange, green, and purple slime looking lights. For Halloween, I'll do little Halloween town. So I've got a bunch of these little spooky houses. I've got everything to make a graveyard, bridges, trees, all that stuff. So I'll make a little spooky town set up somewhere in the house. And everything that's in this box is what I need to make that town. Another pillow, so another black pretty pillow and it's got pretty little silver sequins around the skull's eyes and teeth. This one is from TJ Maxx. These are from CVS. So these are probably my favorite Halloween decorations. I've had these for years now. So CVS, oh, it does light up. The batteries are dying though, so it goes from red to blue, green. Hopefully you guys can see that. The batteries are dying. You see it lighting up, but how cool is that? The detail within these skulls are absolutely incredible and they're massive. These are big skulls. So I think I ended up getting these on sale at CVS for maybe 20 bucks a piece. And unfortunately, while they've come out with these, in the years following they've never looked like this again so they've never had this kind of texture or detail on the teeth or color so i'm so glad i grabbed two of these that very first year when they started making these giant skull pieces so i got two of the same kind 
Okay, so a bunch of random stuff. This little metal pumpkin decoration with a little owl on the top. I used to be obsessed with owls, so I probably won't even put this out this year, but I still am hanging on to it. So these are all kitchen towels that have different Halloween or spooky sayings on it. So this one's a little cauldron. It says stir something up. This one says eat, drink, and be scary with a little owl. This one says many people have eaten here and lived and it's got a little skull and crossbones. So I've got tons of those and I've got these little bowl mixers. This one's got a little spooky haunted house, little sugar skull, happy Halloween and another little sugar skull. So tons of those, more kitchen towels in here and another type of ceramic pumpkin that lights up. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. I do believe this is from, yep, AC Moore. So this is from AC Moore years ago. And again, from CVS, another one of those giant head ceramic pieces. These are pretty heavy. These are definitely worth the price. I think they start out around 40 bucks, but these are super cool looking especially outside at the end of your driveway or something or going up your stairs. I love these. So every time I see cool ones, I'll pick them up right away. This is the skull that they came out with after the original. So those tan ones that I love were the original. Then they started coming out with ones more shaped like this. And I painted this one. So I painted this one black and put all that silver sparkly metal detail on it because it just made it look much better. I'm not a particular fan of the colorway that they had originally had on this one. It had almost no detail, so I painted it, made it look quite a bit better. I'm actually really happy with how that one looks now that it's I've painted it. Really, really cool. Oh yeah, you can see the original color it was on the bottom. So that's what they had it painted. Isn't that ugly? Like, why? So the effort just dropped off somewhere. This was after those original, super detailed, well done skulls. Like, this is so much better. All right, last giant head. Again, from CVS. Lights up. Classic, creepy, jack-o'-lantern face. How cool. So we've got right on top a Ouija board from Killstar. Then we have a black and white sparkly table runner, which is black and white spider webs. Then we have the matching placemats. Then we have another table runner, which is black and white and silver sparkly skulls. Then we have these cute little trick-or-treat table what are these called mats table mat why does that not sound right you guys know what these are they go on the table <laughs> so these ones are obviously fake but these are so pretty black and white striped sparkly faux candles how cool is that and you don't have to worry about burning them because they're fake so they will last forever Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to split this into two videos. So I kind of had a feeling this might happen. I just don't wanna cut too much of the footage away because there are so many pieces that I do want you guys to see. But we're already at 20 minutes. I've got a lot of footage left to go. So I'm just going to split it into two and I will work as quick as I can to get the next one up as soon as possible. It might not be tomorrow, but hopefully it will be the day after. So just stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in a day or two.